Hey everybody, Necro VMX here, and welcome back with more Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. And, um, I got Madison pretty leveled up. Um, he's level 5 now, which is pretty awesome, and I realized before that I never talked to this guy. You're a good child, aren't you, boy? Then make sure you don't go and get in the way of that father of yours. So let's go buy that sword. So you see, I have enough money. I decided not to fuck with the graphics. I do like the way it looks right now, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna grab the copper sword. Who's gonna? <laughs> I'm the only one here, man. This guy just sold his sword to a six-year-old. Seems irresponsible. But this is the world of Dragon Quest. You know, I mean, Dragon Quest XI is already out in um, in Japan, and uh, yeah. By the time you see this video, maybe it's out in America, which would be fucking awesome, but, um... You know what's interesting about it is, I was watching this little featurette about the release of Dragon Quest XI, and, uh... They were saying, like, the difference between... The guy that was doing the featurette said the difference between uh, Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy is Final Fantasy is like... What if Lord of the Rings with motorcycles? Oh, by the way, I got the heal spell, too. So I can heal myself without having to use medicinal herbs or back out of here. Uh, let's check out this way. So, yeah, so it's like, what if Lord of the Rings with, uh... Watch this be money. Of course it's money. Yeah, that would have helped. But I, I didn't want to open any chests off camera. So what if Lord of the Rings with motorcycles describes, um... Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest is described as, what if... Uh, fairy tales were better. So, especially this one. This really is a fairy tale from beginning to end. Alright. There we go. And what do I get? Medicinal herb. It's always a medicinal herb. So, we're looking for the missing guy. It looks like it might be some kind of warning sign, but Madison hasn't learned to read yet. She'd probably get on that. There's some burr babies. Beat the shit out of them. You're doing a lot of damage with that sword now. Much better than whacking things with a stick. Ah, leather shield. And I'm guessing that this is a, sh a shield I can actually use. Let's see. Yep, let's equip that right now. Alright, draggies and hammer hoods. Hammer hoods! Oh, they're pretty dangerous. Uh, they have a very low hit rate. Oh, critical. See, they usually miss, but everyone... They always miss, unless they do a desperate attack, then they'll hit, but it does a lot of damage. So it's uh, pretty good to take them out. The draggies... They do some damage, as you see, but it's not as bad as getting hit by one of those desperate attacks. This isn't an extremely long dungeon, so... That's just a dead end. Boring bugs! This should be no problem. Yeah, you know you're powerful when you can hit them and kill them in one shot even when they're defending. Alright. I can see the guy there, but let me... Oh, there's nothing there. I also see a treasure chest. Bunnycorns! These guys aren't that big of a deal. They do damage, but they, they die fast. Speaking of damage, I think I'm gonna heal. I'm just gonna use this quick thing here. Right. Oh, oh! I wasn't trying to talk to anybody. We'll go talk to that kind of mama and see what this is all about. Ah, Wayfarer's clothes. That's uh, some better armor. Let's equip that right away. You know what I'm noticing that the emulator doesn't do too well is the battle transitions. It just goes black. You don't see, like, the screen swipe. I wonder if it's, like, uh, settings I have, or it's just, you know, a limitation, but you're not missing out on too much. Right, slime and a Draki. Draki's more of a threat. Check him out.
Don't be mean to me. I'm not a bad slime, you know. I promise. I know. I'll let you in on something gooseful. When you're cruising around, you'll find there are a lot less monsters out in the open than there are in forests and up mountains. Yeah, I've known that from playing the first four games. Thank you, though. As a matter of fact, I didn't play this one until after I'd played uh, seven, so. Is that too? Uh, I played this one before I played six. six. Five and six initially didn't come out here. I actually didn't play six on Super Famicom at all. I didn't play that uh, six until it came out on uh, on DS. So that's a thing. Ah, phew! Ah, phew! Yikes! I'm such a fool. I got bored not being able to move, and then ended up falling asleep. I was just walking around, minding my own business, when this huge rock came tumbling down on me. You see? I suppose I could trouble you to give it a shove. Could it? Could I, boy? It won't take much to get me free. All right, let's do it. Let's push that rock. Nice work, boy. I'm lucky you came along. Your name's Rockefeller, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Now I can get that medicine to Mrs. Whitaker like she asked. Oops, there's no time for idle chit-chat. I better get back and start mixing these herbs. All right. I'm gonna get the hell out of here. There's nothing else to do. We got burr babies. We got burr. Burr, 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 burr babies. I should probably move the phone so that it's not sitting directly next to the microphone and being loud as fuck for y'all. Wait, what the fuck? What text is this? It's my sister texting me from a number I've never seen before. That's weird. Like she said, it, it's definitely my sister, but it's weird that she's uh, she's texting me from a number I I've never seen. I think she might have uh, used a website to send me something via SMS. Like she must have put my phone number into it. I'll look at that later. Slimes. So you guys don't get to see me gr level grind, which, I don't know, I like level grinding, so it's never really that dull to me. So I usually have some YouTube videos going or something, but, um, I know you guys don't want to, I mean, it took a long time. It took me like an hour. So, uh, I don't know you guys don't want to watch that, but you get to see plenty of battles just me going through. Try to cut out as much grinding as possible. I think we just need to go back and go to sleep. You see Pankraz is back. Oh yeah, and then he just he just says the same thing and leaves each time you talk to him. Doesn't matter. I expect you are tired after s such a long day, eh? Then it's time you went to bed. Buenos noches, friend. Alright. Ah, you're awake, Madison. Mrs. Whitaker has got the medicine she came for now, so she and Bianca will be going home today. I'm a bit worried about them traveling on their own, though. I was thinking I might see them back to Roundbeck safely. Do you want to come along? Yeah, sure. Good, good. Let's be off then, shall we? Adios, Senor Pancras. No get it. No get in no trouble, eh? You gotta love him. He's an endearing character, for sure. He's very loyal. Almost all the characters in this I find to be highly... Like, even Deborah, who's such a bitch, I find her to be endearing because she's such a bitch. Not leaving us already, are you, Pancras? Just a short trip to round back, my man, that's all. I see. We'll have a safe journey. I think we'll actually probably get into some battles, but I don't know, not this time. We we're already there. Pancras! What a delight to see your face again! Er, uh, likewise, my man!
Pancras is a good guy. He's like, I'll, I'll make sure you get there safely. It's about to get really weird. You're back, Mrs. Whitaker. Did you manage to get hold of some medicine? Well, that's good news, ain't it? Mr. Whitaker will be all right as rain in no time. Where is old Whitey, then? I'd like to pop my head around the door, if that's okay. Okay, so I don't know. I think when I put my phone down, I paused it, so, um... Yeah, actually, I, I don't know how long it was paused for. So let me just talk to everybody here again, because it was somewhere around there. I hope Mr. Whitaker is back on his feet soon. If you're feeling bored, why don't you go for a bit of a walk? Why don't you... Why don't you go... Don't. It's that's on purpose. It's her accent. Why don't you go off for a walk with my little Bianca? Go for a little walk with my Bianca. Can I just talk to you? <coughs> I'll keep your distance, laddie. I don't want you catching what I've got. There's nothing in there. I already checked that. All right, let me. Re I was reading this, but I paused. There's a picture book called The Four Great Furry Friends. Madison takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Let me introduce four great furry friends. There's Clever Saber, Kind Leo, Sweet Mohicat, and Brave Percy. None of them are the slightest bit alike. They are good at different things, and none of their favorite foods are the same. And yet, they're the very best of friends. They do argue from time to time, of course, but they always make up and play nicely together again. Clever Saber, Kind Leo, Sweet Mohicat, and Brave Percy. You'll never find four friends so great, or so furry. The story strikes something of a chord with Madison. Of course, you can't read it, but it was a picture book. My dad's ill, you know. Yeah, I figured that out from the whole medicine thing. Do you want to go for a walk? I'll go with you if you like. All right, so now Bianca has joined us. She's actually, uh, playable. She's only level one, though. Let's do some exploring. I'm gonna want to explore the town before we go crazy. Nothing there. Let's see. All right, we got a seed of resilience and a chimera wing. I'm going to use that Seed of Resilience right now. It's a good thing I looked up at Bandicam just to see, hey, you know, how much time has passed. And it's like, oh, it's paused. That's weird. I hope it wasn't paused too long. I think it's when I put my phone down, I, I must have hit F8, which is the, the pause button. Um, yeah, Seed of Resilience. It's just like a, like a terrace. I also saw a way to go out here. I'm traveling the world collecting unusual tableware and the like. I heard that Count Upton, Uptatin used to drink tea from something called Toff's Tea Set. Made of silver it was. Ain't like that a thing? Did I get the, the blue stone back in that town, uh, the first town? Let me see. I don't think I did. Holy shit. I got the stone from Wheelbrook, but there's another stone that you can get there that is actually kind of importantly the Wheelbrook blue stone. Oh, I know what I did wrong. All right, well, I'll, I'll get back there at one point or another. Oh, I didn't go out that way and talk to that guy. Let's do that right now. Long, long ago, a mighty count and a beautiful countess lived over it up to Tin Towers. But they were unable to have children, and the place was left deserted and empty after their deaths. And yet, night after night, sounds of crying can still be heard coming from within the castle walls. Dun dun dun! The end! What do you reckon to that, son? Pretty scary stuff, eh? Yeah, I guess so. For, if I was six, that would scare the crap out of me. I'd still well, I'd steer well clear of up the ten towers if I was you. Well, you ain't me. Because that's totally where I'm going to go. Eventually. Of course, we're going to explore around the town. Oh! Breaking barrels! Let's check out the pub. Hello there, boy! Come for a booze with your girlfriend, have you? <laughs> She's not bad, neither! She'll be a right looker in a few years' time. Creepy pedo. Alright. Anything behind these buildings? No, it's not. Okay. This here is Roundback. If you head north from here, you come to up to Tin Towers. Can I go door? Yes, there is. Okay. When you see a road heading there, you kind of it kind of tips you off. That young rascal of mine has gone and got himself a cat. 
I keep telling him we can't possibly keep a cat here, but he won't listen. He's a worry sometimes, that boy. Oh, imagine that, a cat. How terrible. Yeah, there it is. It's a pretty weird cat, ain't it? It purr is really funny. Go on, purr again, puss. Leave him alone, poor thing. Give him to me. You want him, do you? Okay, I'm bored of teasing him now. If you want him, you can have him. Ha! But only if you've gone and defeated the ghost at up the Tin Towers. Yep, that's the deal. You defeat the ghost, and then you get the cat. I mean, it's clearly a saber cat. But, alright. Alright, yeah. If you want the cat, you'd better get on over to Uptitin Towers and start thinking about fighting ghosts. I'll do it, but you're a dick. I'm just saying. So, let's go over here and talk to this guy. Not you again! You young hooligans will be the death of me! I... 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 Not me! Oh, wait a minute, you're not one of the usual little ruffians I have in here. But you're still getting in my way. Go on, away with you! Sorry, is this anything important? Okay, that's not important. Alright. The first two kind of were. Oh, so let's see what Woody has for sale, if anything. Hey, hey, asshole. Okay, so you... Uh, bamboos... Bronze knife. Bronze knife is a better weapon for her. She can't have a copper sword. But also they have um, Thorn Whip, which she can use, and the Boomerang, which um, which Madison can use. Let me sell some stuff. I'm going to need to grind up mostly just because of her, but let's sell the plain clothes. You know, I probably should have kept that pot lid for her. Oh, she has a pot lid. Never mind. All right, so let's see. Wait, hold on. How much is the whip? Because that's the first thing I'm going to get. The whip is 350 All right. And we got armor here. So as you can see, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff to buy here. But I'm not, like, worried about it just yet. I know I have an item shop, which I don't care about. I stand guard here all day and night, making sure that no monsters go coming into town. You're a spirited-looking young th thing, you are. Why don't you go about wandering off outside... Don't you go about wandering off outside of town, do you hear? He's not gonna let you. So I think what you gotta do is you gotta, like, go to sleep and then you sneak out at night. Actually, talk to her. Actually, she's not saying anything. Hmm. How do I do this? I, I know you have to like wait till nightfall. Do I just go to a bed and no? <sighs> that ain't it. I'm actually not remembering what to do. Oh, you know what? Let me talk to Pangra. That'll probably do it. Because he's in a different position. You've been a while, Madison. The good news is old Whitey is just some sort of cold or other. I suppose we'd better start thinking about making tracks for Wheelbook. You can't possibly be thinking of leaving now, Pangris. You should stay one night here at the very least. He's going to be here more nights. I think he gets sick. Well, I suppose you've talked me into it. Oh, good. Let me show you to your room. That did it. I gotta remember to get that blue stone. It's driving me crazy that I didn't get it. Because there, there's a certain window where you can get it, and if you don't in that window, it's a long time before you can get it. Here you go, Pancras. You have a good night's sleep, eh? Right. Well, we'd better be on our way early in the morning. Otherwise, the folk back in Wheelbrook will be wondering where we've got to. We should make sure we get plenty of rest. Good night, Madison. Psst, Madison, wake up. Good, you're awake, Madison. Come on, let's hurry. What do you mean, we're to? To up to Tin Towers, of course. We have to give them those ghosts the what for so we can save that poor cat from any more bullying. All we have to do is keep heading north, and we should come to the place eventually. Let's go. And I believe he catches the cold, so that'll keep you here as many nights as you need to stay here in this town. So, um, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. But we could actually leave town now. 
Yeah, unfortunately, you, see, like, you can't buy weapons now, because you see the guy is not at the counter. You can buy armor, but not weapons. Hold on one second. Um, I gotta pause it real quick. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, guys. All right. So let's, um... Well, I'm gonna actually make tracks for up to 10 towers. Just to get it on the map and everything. There's Drackies and a Fat Rat. Fat Rat's a new, um, new guy. Let's concentrate on him. That wasn't too bad. I mean, he, you know, like I said, I leveled him up. Pretty much over-leveled him. Level 5 is actually pretty extreme for this point in the game. But that's, that's fine. So I'm going to show you guys where it is. You go across the bridge and you go up here. Oh! Funky ferrets! And look, they, they're called funky because they, they fucking fart every few seconds. I think it's hilarious. Bianca can't really do much of anything just yet, because she's only level 1, she doesn't really have a good weapon or anything, but... We'll get her leveled up. Sweet breath. Didn't want work, which is excellent for me. And there's Bianca leveling up. So she's level 2, hit points up by 3, magic points by 4, strength 2, agility 2, resilience 1, wisdom 2, luck 1. And I'm getting a lot more money uh, per battle here, so... It won't take as long. So that's up to 10 towers right there. Alright, so you got a funky ferret and a jail cat. Yeah, you really gotta watch out for her, though, because she's so low level. And he wasted his turn, he's cleaning his face, and now he's dead. I just wanna fill out some map squares. Why not? So we got Combatter Pillars and Jail Cats. The Jail Cats tend to waste time, that's why I'm having Madison attack the Combatter Pillars primarily until they're gone. And Bianca can soften them up. Oh, not good! Alright, well we'll have to... we'll have to head back. The good news is I don't think I have to spend money at a church to get her revived. Yeah, she, she actually revived with one hit point. Because they're, you know, they're kids right now. That wouldn't make sense. So I'm actually going to... Oh, oh, I kind of saw the transition there. Actually, after this battle, I'm going to pause it and... Uh, get everybody ground up and up to speed and weapons bought and everything. And then we'll um, unpause it. So I'll see you guys... In, uh, who knows how long for me. For you, it's gonna be like a second. Right after this battle, though. Okay, that's... Oh, I didn't read any of that. Okay. Well, Madison just learned Squelch, which is really good. Squelch, uh, will... It, it, it's basically like Antidote. It, it, it uh, heals poison. But I is level 3. This time I'll read it. Hit points up by 4. Magic points up by 6. Uh, strength 2. Agility 2. Resilience 1. Wisdom 2. Luck 2. She learns Frizz, which is a fire spell. And I got 20 gold coins. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so we're back. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it didn't take that long. I actually went to a part of the map where there's stronger enemies. And as you can see, Pancras is laid up. Achoo! Achoo! Oh, my head hurts. Looks like I must have caught old Whitey's cold. Of all the things. So if we want to continue, we're just going to go down and talk to Bianca. And I'll show you um, how leveled up I am and all the equipment and shit. We're going again tonight, right? Maybe we should get some sleep. Yeah, sure, I just woke up, but why not? You have a rest now, okay? I'll come and get you when it's time. Alright. Madison! Alright, let's do it. Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. We know we heard this already. So, um Bianca actually levels up super fast. She's already level nine. Madison's level eight. Um I'll just show you. Um, I have him with the boomerang, leather armor, scale shield, and hardwood le headwear. She's got thorn whip, scale shield, leather dress, and leather hat. So the fact that we're going with a six-year-old and an eight-year-old, you know, it's kind of like iffy to fight ghosts, but we got really good weapons. The thorn whip actually attacks an entire group of enemies, and the boomerang actually attacks all enemies on screen. So that's why I bought those first, and then I was able to go to an area on the map where there's more powerful enemies 
and I was able to grind up really quick. Um, uh, did I learn any new? Sp did he learn any new spells? Oh no, no. Oh, ugh. that's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, I know I learned spells, but I think I got to go to status because there's some battle spells. Um, that would be attributes. Here we go. Yeah, so Madison actually now has Whoosh, which is a wind spell, and uh, she has... Uh, she learned Dazzle, Kasap, and Sizz. Um, Dazzle will make enemies miss, Kasap will um, lower their defense, and Sizz is like... It's another fire spell. It's like Frizz, except it attacks a group of enemies, so... Let's go to up to ten towers. And by the way, I realized that they actually sell a unique uh, piece of headgear at the item shop, which I believe um, Bianca can wear. But um, the, I'm not going to bother with it. It's not that big of a deal. So let's go up to the up to ten towers and uh, finish this up. It's actually easier to go this way and avoid more battles. So we got some bunny corns. Yeah, as you can see, I'm quite powered up at this point. That's why I don't mind doing the grinding, because it's worth it. When you're actually going through levels, it's, uh, it's a lot easier. Fat rats! You guys are pathetic, aren't you? There's that boomerang. Whooping that ass, though. we are. I don't like it here. It's dark and creepy. I reckon there are ghosts about. But we have to stick it out for the sake of that poor cat. Come on, Madison, let's keep going. Alright. Let's do this first. There's a Chimera win. And a Medicinal Herb. So I'll check out the back. As you can see, there's a thing there. I'll check that out later. Actually, I think you have to go that way. I don't think you can go in the front. But I just want to make sure I uh, get everything. I think the front is locked. As a matter of fact, the fact that it's a blue door pretty much tells me that it is locked. The door is rusty and won't budge an inch. Huh, what a pain. I hope there's some other way we can get inside. I just saw it. We're just back here, beyond to get with the program now. Chick down here. That's another blue door, so we're not going to be able to go through it. So we'll go up in here. Spoopy! Check out these coffins. As you can see, there's, there's nothing in them, but it's just fun to do. No, no, yeah, I know, I can see there's nothing in there. Right. Look at that. Ah, spooky, spooky skeletons. Wow! And now we're alone. Look at this. I think I think she's just in a coffin. Oh, yeah. Forget. I'll check them all. We got separated already. Nah, that was wrong. Let's go down this way. Alright, let's look around. Okay. Uh, oh, right, she's in, under the grave, yeah. There's an inscription carved into the tombstone. It says something about it being Madison's grave. Madison can't read very well and isn't sure the exact wording. There's an inscription carved into the tombstone. It says something about it being Bianca's grave. But Madison can't read very well and isn't sure the exact wording. Uh, it sounds like there's a voice coming from the grave. Have a look inside. Oh, uh, yeah. Madison uses all of his strength to push the grave open. You think it's a giant stone slab, and he's pushing it. He's fucking jacked for a kid. Phew! That was horrible! Couldn't you have gotten here any sooner? I was checking the... Uh, never mind. 
Thanks for helping me out anyway. We better get a move on. I was a bit scared for a while back there, but it's all just show, I reckon. Nothing can frighten me now. Alright, I'm actually going to stop here. I'll see you guys real soon with more Dragon Quest V.